Good morning guys, welcome back to another video, happy new year, happy 2024. Um, I just thought I would start off this video today in Managua. We stayed here last night and woken up to a beautiful sunny morning here and I just thought I'll pick up the camera and hope you all are having a lovely start to the new year. Uh, we had a lovely Christmas here, our first Christmas abroad and really enjoyed actually just the simplicity of it and just not overdoing it, not doing too many things, um, just very few gifts were exchanged and just a really, really chilled environment so that was really nice. So today I thought I would film a video about five things that you should know before moving or coming to visit Nicaragua. Um, these are things I didn't know and I wish someone had um, told me what yeah, what they were. So number one, you're probably wondering what kind of cash or card you will need when you come here. Um, because without money the world does not go round unfortunately. <laughs> um, and yeah, the first thing I'm going to say about that is in Nicaragua if you want to get cash out at the cash machine um, it often does charge you an extortionate amount, so usually $4 um, for a withdrawal. Obviously if you're withdrawing a lot, it's not a huge amount, but if you want to avoid all of that, I would highly recommend using the ATMs that are called Banco Red. They're a purple ATM machine, um, and there are two located in Rivas in, in San Juan. Um, there are two in Rivas, and there's one in San Juan. The ones in Rivas are quite near the Central Park um, and you can just ask someone where the nearest Banco Red is and they will be able to direct you. Um, um, and the one in San Juan is in the Super Express supermarket and it is completely free to withdraw cash from those, back, from those machines. And one final thing about money in Nicaragua is you will want to withdraw cash. <laughs> Cards are not common here to be used in most places. Obviously, if you go to big supermarkets or shopping malls, of course you can use your card and a few restaurants as well. But it's much better to have cash. Cash is mostly accepted here. Um, and I would highly recommend just using cash because it's, it's often declined if it's a card. Number two about things to know before coming to Nicaragua. You should probably know that here in Nicaragua you cannot put um, toilet roll, loo roll, down the toilet. I know it's a funny thing but loads of people don't know this and they come here and they're quite surprised to find out that you cannot put any paper, loo roll, down the toilet. So everywhere you stay or rent there will be a small bin provided next to the toilet um, and that is where you dispose of your paper towels. Not something that's, you know, that nice, but actually you get really used to it and um, yeah, that's all I have to say on that. <laughs> but something to be aware of if you're not used to that. Okay, so point number three about things to know before coming to Nicaragua. You should also probably know that it is quite rare to have hot water here in your hotel or rented accommodation. Uh, because of the climate and most people do not need the hot water, most showers are freezing cold. <laughs> Which is quite nice if you're really hot, but occasionally it's nice to obviously have a hot shower. You can heat up water on the stove and wash yourself that way. Um, or you can search for an apartment that has hot water, but they are few and far between. Um, so yeah, another important thing to know about if that's something you are used to at home and not sure whether Nicaragua would have that, it is quite rare, um, but again, not impossible. Just something you have to search for if it's important to you. Now, point number four. Um, gringos, us group of people, um, <laughs> get a different price. And this isn't necessarily a negative thing. I'm not trying to make out that, um, you know, this is really annoying and it's really bad. It's just something to be aware of. I am just um, acknowledging the fact that you will pay different prices to the locals. And that's fine, you know, we're not from here. What can we do? Um, but yeah, just something to be aware of. You will get gringo priced. And of course, having said that it's fine, it's okay in moderation and a small amount, but just watch out for those big, big gringo pricing 
things that can happen. So if someone tells you, you're on a bus for example, and the bus driver tells you it's $20 for a bus journey. Maybe you're gonna to wanna to think about it and think, actually, I might speak to a local or just download the translation app and ask someone on the bus, how much is the bus journey from here to here? Or how much do you pay for a meal at this restaurant or something? That's what I always do when I go to a new country is I ask the locals how much it is. And then I can work out if someone is overcharging a lot or just a little bit. If they want an extra 20, 30 um, cent on top of it, then do you know what? Sometimes, sometimes I'll just pay it. But if it's on <coughs> certain items, then I just say, no, I know the locals pay this price. Please, you know, please give me the real price. Um, and they often know, they know what they're doing and you just have to kind of wise up to it. But again, it's not something I get super frustrated about because I completely feel grateful and respectful that I'm in someone else's country and I am a foreigner here. Okay, and the final point of today's video, point number five. Um, if you are buying a car here, make sure that you get it looked over by someone you trust. There is a wonderful mechanic in San Juan del Sur who is an expat and he decided to open up his lovely garage um, when he found it was really difficult to get someone trustworthy out here. So he is a really good person to go to. Um, let me know if you want his, uh, his garage name. Otherwise, um, look around for someone you really can trust and communicate with and will tell you about the car because it's a big issue here is people buy cars and then they end up you know with loads of issues to do with the car um, and when purchasing a car it's good to um, make sure you use a lawyer so that is my five tips for you guys today i just want to finish by saying come here and enjoy it is such a fun country it is such a beautiful place it has the most amazing food lovely friendly people and I just know that once you're here, you will really enjoy your time here. So enjoy. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. And I'm really excited for this year. We have so many exciting projects to share with you guys. We have loads of fun things going on. And yeah, I can't wait to start sharing more with you. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video. And I'll see you in our next video. Bye.